and let's go back to reading story. And today's story again is about starfish. Yes. And I want you to pay good attention to all the rhyming words in this book. Okay. Starfish, stars of the sea. There are some stars in the sky. There are sometimes on the bottom of the sea. Let's see what's this. Okay, starfish, the star of the sea. Here we go. It's this book is by Scholastic. Okay, Scholastic. They are the one who made this book. Okay, under the sea, along the shore, oh, live hundreds of starfish on the ocean floor. Starfish who live on the ocean bed are purple, orange, brown, and red. A starfish can be hard to see. Its colors hides it. Oh, hold on, I'm sorry, just a second. Okay, stop. So starfish can crawl into hidden homes. I'm going to go back a bit, my friends. Okay. A starfish can be hard to see. It colors hide it from an enemy. Enemy? Okay. Now, ah, oh, starfish bodies have no bones, so starfish can crawl into hidden holes. Ah, oh, they can hide. Oh, even if enemies do attack, starfish are lucky. Why are they lucky? Their arms grow back. Oh my goodness, they cannot grow them back again. A starfish arm is called a ray. A spot on its tip tells night from day. I can hear a lot of rhymes. The stream will go back to them again. Suckers help starfish walk and crawl and cling tightly to shell or rocky wall. Mm. They look beautiful, don't they? Oh, rays are like fingers. They touch and they feel a starfish hurt from a shellfish meal. Hmm. A starfish holds a shellfish tight, then pulls it open with all its might. Starfish eats without any teeth. Their mouths are hidden underneath. Ah, starfish are sometimes called sea stars. That's their other name. But when wherever... Whether you call them starfish or sea stars, their lives are just the same. And that's the end of the story, my friends. So Ms. Rim is going to read it again and pay attention to the rhymes. Okay, get ready. I'm going to go with the rhymes again. Under the sea, along the shore, live hundreds of starfish on the ocean. Floor. Floor. What rhymed with floor? The previous page. Shore. Floor. Yes. Keep listening, listening. Starfish who live on the ocean bed are purple, orange, brown, and red. Bed. What rhymes with bed? Yes. Red. Excellent. They both end with d, ed. Very clever. A starfish can be hard to see. It colors. Okay. A starfish is what? It's hard to see. It colors. Hides it from an enemy. A starfish can be hard to see. It colors, hides it from an enemy. E, C, enemy. Yes, they do rhyme again. That's true. Let's listen again. Starfish bodies have no bones, 
so starfish can crawl into hidden homes. Starfish bodies have no bones, so starfish can crawl into hidden homes. Yes, what, what tribes? Bones, homes. Yes, that is so clever again. You're right, let's listen again. Okay. Even if enemies do attack, starfish are lucky. Their arms grow back. Back, attack. A starfish arm is called a ray. A spot on its tip tells night from, yes, day. You're right. Day, ray, day rhyme again. Well done. Oh, suckers help starfish walk and crawl, that's true, and cling tightly to what? They cling tightly to shells or rocky wall. Okay, what rhymes on this page? Suckers help starfish walk or crawl and cling tightly to shells or rocky wall. You're right, crawl, walk. You're right again. You know, rhymes are very much fun to play. Rays are like fingers, they touch and they feel. Okay, let's see what else can rhyme here. I just made a rhyme. Oh, a selfish here, heard for shellfish meal. So meal, feel. Starfish holds a shellfish tight, then pulls it open with all its might. Tight? Yes, might. Tight and might, they rhyme. Get ready because we are going to go search for some rhyming words together again. Starfish eats without it any teeth. Their mouths are hidden underneath. So, Teeth underneath. Again, good listening. Okay, let's see the last page. Starfish are sometimes called sea stars. That's their other name. But whenever, whether you call them starfish or sea star, their lives are just the same. So that's it for our rhymes. Get ready because we are going to go fish for some rhyming words together. Okay, my friends, I hope you've enjoyed this story and get ready. We are going to go get fishing. Ready? I'll see you in a little bit. The beach. I'm going to the beach. Hey, how the way you go? I'm going to the beach. I'm going to fish some words. I'm going to fish some words. Hey, how to the beach I go? I'm going to get some words. I'm going to the beach, I'm going to the beach. Hey ho, to the beach I go, I'm going to the beach. Hello, KGE, how are you? Oh my goodness, get in my boat. Miss Reem is ready with her glasses, with her hat, with my fishing rod, and I'm gonna catch some rhyming words. Can you please help me? Because I have a lot of words I cannot find their match, the rhyming words. So, are you ready? Here we go, help, 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 before the shark eats them. So, here I go. I have bell, bell. Let's see what words I can see in the sea. I see in the sea, I've just made a rhyme. I have male, I have a bell. Okay, can you help me catch my rhyming word? Bell, 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 where is my rhyming word for bell? Bell, bell, bell. Oh, shh. is it fish and bell? Nope. Is it shell and bell? I caught a fish. Yay. Let's see. Thank you. Don't let it go. Bell, shell. Well done. Here they are. Thank you for helping me with the first fish. I have book. What 
rhymes with book? Does fish rhymes with book? No. Does star rhymes with book? No. Does hook rhymes with book? Yay! Hook! I got the fish! Hook, I put it down. Hook and book. They do rhyme. Yes! Yes, I caught another fish. Now, Miss Reem have got dish. What rhymes with dish and I can catch it? Catch my fish. Moon and dish. No. Yes, I can hear you. Yes. Is it star and dish? Mm -mm. Is it fish? Listen, listen. Fish. Yes, I caught another fish. Fish dish. That is right. I'm going to put it down. Fish and dish. Yes, they do rhyme. Okay, I have a spoon. Spoon. What rhymes with spoon? Star? No, I don't want to catch this fish. Uh, boat? No. Moon? I caught another fish. Yes. Moon, spoon. Do they rhyme? I think they do. Moon, spoon. Well done. Thank you for helping me catch a lot of fish. Oh, I have a goat. Goat, 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 goat. What rhymes with goat, goat, goat? Okay. Let's say goat. Can I say star and goat? No. Can I say boat and goat yay i caught another fish boat coat boat oh miss reem it's goat boat goat i have car what rhymes with car car mail no car <gasps> star car star well done, KJA, for helping me catch all the fish that I wanted to catch. <gasps> One more. I have a snail. Snail. What runs with snail? You're right again. It's oh, mail. <gasps> I caught a big fish, big fat fish. It's snail mail. They rhyme and thank you for helping me catch them before the shark gets in now get ready to go back to shore row 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 your boat gently down the stream if you see a crocodile don't forget to scream thank you my friends for helping me catch all my rhyming words now it's your job to find another word that rhymes with car star what? Car, star, find another word that rhymes. Fish, dish, huh? Something else. Bell, shell, tell maybe. Book, hook, huh? Mm, yes. And moon, spoon, broom. Whatever, something that rhymes. Okay, my friends, I have to go to get my fish back in the oven. Thank you so much.